Hi everyone, hope you all are doing well. So in this lesson of Laravel Blade Components, we're going to be learning about slots. We're going to start off with the basics to a little bit more advanced as we go along. All right, so let's get started. All right, so if you've been following this series, you will understand this. So what we have is we got a button right here with a name attribute called save. Then we pass this attribute to our button component, but we're using a props right here to select the name that mustn't be part of our attributes back all right and then i have opening and closing php tags right there and be, so that we can write php okay so then we've got a classes variable that's assigned to these tailwind classes and then we pass these classes to the attributes class right here so if we plug, put any classes in the button right here so if you add class like this right so anything in here it will be merged with these classes right there all right and then we put in the name like this now this is the way we've done it because i haven't gotten to the slot part of the the course yet so let's quickly update that so how can we change this button to make use of slots all right let me just show you all right so we can do an x button like this Okay, so now we've got our button created right there. Now we can remove the name like this. All right. Now in order to pass in anything between these two tags, so this is our opening button tag and this is our closing button tag. All right. Now in order to receive anything that's passed between these two components, we use the keyword called slot. Like this. All right. So that means anything between these two tags will be passed to that component right so let's quickly put in the save right this right so we will know it will be received right here so let's check it out all right so as you can see we've got our save right there let's change it to anything else now you're not obviously going to do this with your button so i'm just going to put a paragraph tag with some text in here so let's say lorem 50. now you're obviously not going to do this i just want to prove to you that anything that you write between these two tags will be passed to the slot right there right let me save that right so as you can see we got the save right there with the lorem ipsum all good stuff that way you can create custom buttons for yourselves in your components right there and you can actually style them however you want so in case let's say you have a buttons folder and you have another inside that you have a primary button then you can do it like that okay Right, so that's the basic use of that. So the thing that we're going to do now is we're going to work on a card component so that I can show you a little bit more advanced uses of the slot component. All right, so let's do that. All right, so I've got a card right here with an image, a title, and some text. Obviously, I can add a button if I want to, but I'm not going to do that just to kind of keep things simple. So let's quickly see what this looks like. All right, so if you use Bootstrap or any other CSS framework, then you will understand this right here. Right, so we've got a card with an image with some text right here. Now we're gonna change this card, this card basically to a blade component with the different slots. I will show you how so that you can learn all the different parts of this. Right, so let's start off with the first step. The first thing we're going to do, we're gonna cut all of this out and put it inside our component right here. Right, and then we're gonna Render that component to so X and just do it like X card like this. All right. So that's the first part right here. Okay. So this is done. So we got a component. So we are rendering it right here. Now, the next thing that we can do, just remember anything passed between these components gets passed to a slot variable right here. Okay. So if you create a variable called slot a keyword like this, all right, whatever is between these two tiles will get passed to the slot right here all right but i'm not going to do that in here so let me just show you what i'm going to do the first thing all right so if we want the image to be a little bit more dynamic we don't want it to be hard coded i'm just going to create a variable called image okay so let's copy cut out this part right here the image now in order to pass this image from the card component right here to this image right here we can make use of the slot variable called x slot like this and then what we can do is we're going to give it a name and the name needs to correspond to the name that you're given in your card so in this case we've got a card name that image that 
slot name is image. Okay, so let's just quickly add in there. So image, and then we can pass our image in there. All right, so let's see if we can actually render this now. All right, so as you can see, nothing changes. All right, so let's do that for our title as well. So what we can do is we can leave it as an H5, okay, like this, and just put the title like this. All right, or what we can do is we can just put the title like this and let the person specify if they want an H5 or whatever. But in my case, I'm just going to put a title like that. Okay, so let's quickly, now, in order to pass that to the title, we can use the X slot again. And we're going to give it a name of title. All right, so this is our image. And this is our title. Okay, so let's quickly pass that in there. So I'm just going to do a lot of, let's say, 10, just to kind of give it a title. All right, so let's see if we render this. Right, so everything works. As you can see, the title there, but the title is a bit too long for me, so I'll just make it short. Oh, that's a little bit better. Right, so let's quickly do that for the paragraph as well. Right, so now you can decide if you want to do the slot like this, okay, and just cut out the paragraph like that. It's totally fine. You can do that. But for me, like I said, I'm not going to do that. So I'm just going to leave this, and I'm just going to call this one body. Body. Just to kind of practice the advanced features of the slot. Okay, so let's quickly go there and let's quickly do the body. Body like this. And we can do an X slot. And then we put in the body. I'm going to add some lorem ipsum tags. So let's say lorem 20. And that's it. All right, so now we've got our card component created. We use the X slots in order to get the different things to make it a little bit more dynamic. If we want to use the same component, we can do that. But now there's another problem. Let's say you don't want to add the title to every component or an image or a body. It's totally dependent, obviously, up to you. So what you can do is you can do an if, an if statement. All right. So, but if you want them to be there, you can do that. So if you say the image must be required on all the cards, you can, so you can leave it. So for now is we can do an is set. This is set and we can pass in the image like this. Just put an end if, all right. And then we can do the same for the title and for the body. There's another way we can write this. We can do that is set like this. All right, and then we can just pass in the variable like this. Instead of an if statement, we can do it like this. All right, so let's quickly see if we we'll just leave out the image, if we get any errors. Refresh, as you can see, no errors. But let's say we're do, going to do the same thing, but if we didn't put the is set. I'm just going to copy comment out the if statement. So as you can see, we get the undefined variable image. Now, in order to fix that, you put just put an if statement with the is set, or you can use the blade helper is set like that. All right. So let's all that. Now, the next thing that you might wonder. All right. So how can we pass in to this slot? Let's say if we want to customize our title. So. Let's say we want to add a class like this. Let's say class of font bold. Okay. Um, uppercase and text blue 500. Okay. Let's say you want to pass this to that slot component. How would you do that? Let's start off with the title, this one right here. So as we put in those class right there. So we go to our H5 and what we can do right here, we're going to put the blade notation. And then we can put in basically our slot name. So in this case, it will be the title. And then we can add the attributes like this. Let me just remove that. All right. The attributes. And we can just call on the class. If you guys remember, if you've been following the attributes, which is in the previous lesson, 
this all would make sense. Now, what we can do is we can give it default attributes. Okay. So in this case, it says, uh, just make it some padding of one. All right. Let's quickly see if we can actually view this button right now. Sorry, this title. All right. So as you can see, we got our title in there. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out everything in here except the uppercase and make this part of the default styling for the titles okay like that with a font text of let's say small for now okay and now the next thing we can do for the body as well we can do that as well so let's go to the paragraph and we can do a, a paragraph tag with a body and then we're going to do the attributes and then we're going to set that to the class. I'm just going to make it something simple. So we can just do a text of extra small uh, font gray or let's say one text gray actually. All right, so now we got our card right there. So now what this will allow us to do, so in our slots, we can just come and add any styling we want. So in this case, if we don't want to make the text blue, let's make it text uh, green, or let's say 400. We can easily do that. Kind of, we had all the hard-coded information, we kind of made it available for us so that we can use that throughout our application. And if we can style it and give us a little bit more freedom. And the other thing as well, if you want to have default styling, for your attributes, for the card itself, right? For the card itself, we can also have its own attributes right here. So, attributes. And we can remove the styling from this one. So, we can remove it and put it in here. And just remove that class. Right, so now this one is a little bit more dynamic. Okay, so there's our image. Here's our title. And here's our body right there just giving us some room in there right so obviously now the card is like this and we can now give it some styling as well so we can do a width of let's say we don't want 60 we want it to be 72 and we want the background to be just something ridiculous and noticeable just blue for now right so that's how we can do it right so if you guys learned something please give this video a like if you have any feedback, suggestions, or some questions regarding the slots, please ask them for me in the comment section and I will gladly help you guys out. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Adios.